morning, welcome to a windy but pretty epic Ullapool. So the plan today is we are heading over from Ullapool to Applecross, all the peninsulas all around the outside. It looks unbelievably good. The only issue we've got today is, while it says there's no rain, there's lots of wind, about 50 something mile an hour wind gusts. So it should be, let's call it, let's call it an adventure. But it's about a three hour ride time in total. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. If it's anything like yesterday, it's gonna be unbelievably pretty. So let's not mess around, let's go. Here we go then, day six. I'm, I can't believe it's day six. The uh, motorway journeys at the start feel like a million years ago now. But I'm excited for today. I am in the mood for it after yesterday. It, it's kind of like, really gave me a buzz for more. I mean, look at that. Crazy good looking. So we've just been told we met a guy just outside the hotel that they, um, that he met a guy on a Tenere yesterday and he said, don't go to Applecross. I believe it means over the pass. Don't go over because they are winds of 70 mile an hour at the top there. Um, so yeah, that's not good. But to, tomorrow looks like the worst of the weather for us um, when we actually are planning on doing that. So we'll have to play it by ear, I guess. Today's plan is to do all the peninsulas, work our way slowly around the outside. Our first stop is in Gearlock, where we're just gonna get a little bit of snap and a little bit of a leg rest. It, today is the first time I'm not wearing my um, rain trousers over the top of my trousers, but I've dropped a thermal layer. Mad that the um, the temperature today is predicted to be up to around 15 degrees from yesterday where it was like two. Absolute like madness. Doesn't make any sense. But me and dad have both said just how we haven't been cold this whole trip, no matter the uh, weather, we haven't been cold. Dressed appropriately, obviously. So anyway, that's enough of that. Next time you hear from me, we'll be somewhere near Gerlock. And so here we were, another day on the roads and I know this is the North Coast 500, so it's coastal is in the name, but you never quite get over that coastal view. It's incredible. But one thing that struck out to me over these last few days was just how much everything could change. You would go from these stunning scenery, to then you'd turn a corner, you would be in a mountain range, winding your way through the valley with a river next to you. You just never grow tired of that, and that really only happened over the last two days. We finally see some more bikers. There were like five people. We all gave each other the big, the big wave. Everyone was well up for it. But that's the first, first bikers we've really seen, other than our mate Ben, who we bumped into three times. We saw him. What was the first time we saw him? God, it feels like a million years ago now. I think it was around Wick area, somewhere around there. And then we seemed to see him a bunch of times. Anyway, the wind so far is not as bad as I expected it to be. Don't get me wrong, it's a bit blustery, but I was expecting huge gusts. We had a few early on in the ride that really knocked, I can see my dad moving as much as I was moving, um, got us moving around, but we seem to be sheltered by these mountains, I think to the left at the minute. And uh, it's been that way the whole time. But super pretty today, not as, um, with us being coastal, the, the the scale of the mountains and stuff aren't as huge, but you just, again, we came over the top there and just saw the ocean, saw the islands and stuff, just amazing. Oh boy. This has been a crazy stunning ride here. We just keep winding our way around, just around the peninsula, around that coastline. And the sea is like, by the way, it's warm today. Um, the sea is like the Caribbean. It's like that pale, that pale white water. And then it just deepens, it goes into the ocean. It's clear, we can see for miles and miles and miles. Summer gloves are gonna have to come on in a minute. We arrived in Gale Force Winds in Gaelock, but the beach was absolutely stunning. It was a bit of a scramble getting down there, but once you were there, here's that blue water, not white water. Here's that blue water I spoke about, and I couldn't resist a dip. Got there though, and it was it was not a very extravagant dip, I've got to admit. It was absolutely freezing, but you know, I tried to act tough for Rory and 
make out like it wasn't too bad, but in reality, yeah, I didn't want to be much further deep than ankle. What a great little stop that was. No way for food and drink on this beach, but the beach was too nice to miss, so I am ravenous by now. So the plan is we're going to head on towards Torridon um, before we then do the Apple Cross Peninsula and just stop at anything along the way. Anything that looks like we can get some food in, just stop off and enjoy it. I'm sure it'll be good. Jesus Christ, it is getting blowy now. Super blowy. It may have been very blowy, but the roads were absolutely awesome. Real mix of everything again as we wound our way up the hill away from the beach. We then were kind of freestyling it. We didn't know what to do, whether to push on for lunch or to stop until we came across Loch Marie. And this thing was blooming beautiful. Great little car park, somewhere nice. The weather was decent, pretty still to be honest. And it was stunning, just sat there. Look at that. You cannot beat that. What a place. Now on the way to Torridon, before you, we head north to Fernmore on our way around that Apple Cross Peninsula that I keep going on about. And this bit of road, it's look like, look at it, it's like a ribbon. Like a ribbon just winding its way up, down and through. Mountains on either side, river over there, just this massive expanse. It's just crazy. The change, you know, we, today we've had coastal, we've had forest we've had this tundra it's just it's just crazy it's just crazy i hope at least one person watches these videos <laughs> as number one and then as number two i hope that at least one person watches these videos and then comes and does this because honestly it, it, i've got a few days left to go and it's one of the best things i've ever done i can't believe it i can't believe it like, what is this landscape? It's like another planet. I feel like I haven't spoken about this in a while, but it rained a lot. It was really heavy, but I didn't mind because what it gave us was spectacular. When you get sun and rain together, you get the biggest rainbow of all time. This camera angle doesn't do it justice at all. It was absolutely huge. It filled your field of vision and it looked like it was about one meter off the coast. I've never seen anything like it. But the roads all around this peninsula took us really high. We had amazing views from really high up. Sun just poking through the cloud. It was amazing. Um, I had a few brown patches from the high winds, but it wasn't too bad. I kept making dad stop and try to get some amazing shots to show it off. We wound our way into the Bay of Applecross and our hostel was right in there. We came right around this little bay here, turned left and in we went and we were in the most perfect setting. This beautiful white building, it was actually a really good place, I would recommend it. It was sat just up against a huge hill, beach right there behind you, river next to you, bunch of open ground. It was, it was amazing. What a spot to end the day. Well, that was incredible. What a day. Um, it had everything today. One minute we were like cruising around the coast, just looking out at the sea, just for miles and miles and miles. We've ended up at this hostel. I mean, come on, come on, what a setting. So as you can tell, I am buzzing after today. Um, I, I've said earlier that today was my favorite day. And I think it's just while you're in that moment, the sun was shining, it was all amazing. Because yesterday and today combined were just, just insane. So tomorrow, traditionally, you would go back over to Inverness from here. You'd do the Apple Cross, Apple Cross Pass and then head straight back to Inverness. But we're not doing that because we wanted to make our route a circular. <laughs> just while we're here. We wanted to make it a circular. So we are now heading um, south again. We're now level. Apple Cross is level with Inverness. I didn't realise that. So we're heading south now to go down to Glencoe for our last night in the Highlands um, before we head down to Glasgow and then home. Crazy that this is um, sort of in the tail end of the trip really. But thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you, ha you are, somebody is. If you enjoyed today, drop a like on it. If you really enjoyed today, drop a comment and subscribe to the channel. Have a great one everybody, bye! The next episode will be our last episode of the series where we run from Applecross all the way to Glasgow. High winds made it pretty dangerous and we had a little incident.
the wind coming off the hill there just blew him and then he, he ended up in the fence and the bike ended up on the floor but 